Attack on Titan, 10 Harsh Realities of Being a Marleyan The Marleans were viewed as the antagonists of Attack on Titan, and they had to deal with many harsh realities. Marley has long been the strongest military power in the world of Attack on Titan. Thanks to the subjugation of the Eldian people, Marley has been able to freely manipulate the power of the Titans to their advantage. With the power of the Titans in the palm of their hand, Marley pushed themselves to the top of the food chain. Unfortunately, they failed to consider the harsh truths that come as a result of warmongering, subjugation, and segregation. Reality has a way of snapping back when pushed too far, and the Marleans are ill prepared for the bitter taste of Eldian karma headed their way. 10. The Marleyan culture is influenced by constant international conflict. The parallels between the first season of Attack on Titan and the final season are hard to miss. In both seasons an army returns home just before a city is ravaged by a powerful Titan shifter who has experienced the harsh reality of being a child soldier. These Titan invasions are so dramatic that fans often overlook the return party that precedes them. Though both situations are shot in a similar manner, the tone is completely different in Marley than it is in parody. It is easy to see that Marleans have learned to enjoy the thrill of inviting their warriors home. This is because their culture has adopted war as an art, whereas the Eldians within the walls of parody would rather live in peace and harmony. 9. Marleans are constantly misled by propaganda that hides their true reality. The reality of war is much grimmer than many assume. Throwing human bodies at an enemy is gruesome enough as it is. Add on the threat of propaganda and it becomes a recipe for disaster that can cripple even a strong and victorious nation like Marley. Propaganda is a well-known war tactic that governments use to gain support for their actions. While it isn't always used for malicious reasons, if utilized incorrectly, propaganda can lead to a distrustful and ignorant population that knows nothing but the art of war. 8. Marley is a weak segregated nation that purposefully dehumanizes its strongest citizens. Marley may have done the work to convince itself and the world that they are a powerful nation capable of finding victory on any battlefield. But fans of Attack on Titan know better. The strength of Marley lies not in those who call themselves Marleyan, but in those labeled Eldian Devils. The foundation of the Marleyan military's strength lies on the back of its Eldian Titan shifters. Instead of celebrating these individuals, the leaders of Marley prove just how weak they are by reducing their Eldian citizens to slaves and dehumanizing them at every opportunity they get. 7. A reliance on the Eldian's Titan shifting ability has stalled Marley's technological advancements. To prove just how weak Marley is without the help of their Titan shifters. Fans can look to the assault on Marley led by Aaron Yeager in the final season of the anime. Once the greatest military power in the world was met by a boy with an equal amount of Titan strength as the Marleyan warriors. They fell apart like a set of Jenga blocks. The biggest difference in this battle came from the ODM technology utilized by the Eldians from parody. Marley's constant reliance on the power of the Titans actually crippled their technological development and allowed for other nations to surpass them despite the strength of their Titan warrior unit. 6. The constant threat of revolution has forced Marley into a militant dictatorship. Though the specifics regarding Marley's type of government have not been disclosed to viewers. It is made very clear that the military has a big hand in the way decisions are made in Marley. Theo Magath serves as the general of the Marleyan military and oversees the Eldian warrior unit. Due to the fact that Eldian culture within Marley is heavily influenced by the opportunity to become a Titan warrior, Magath serves as the de facto dictator of the Eldian people. It can't be said how much sway he has over the rest of the Marleans, but considering their current position, it would be surprising to hear that anyone was governing them at all. 5. Marleyan officials are constantly in fear of war coming to their homes. 
Very few of the Titan shifters working under Theo Magath have lived long enough to feel the guilt that comes from waging war. On the other hand, General Magath is so incredibly paranoid that he manages to predict Aaron Yeager's attack on Marley. While this sort of forethought may seem impressive, it is indicative of paranoia that can cripple one's mental health. Magath is so worn out by war that he no longer fears it. Instead of preparing to stop Aaron Yeager, he let the attack titan decimate an entire city before collecting his remaining troops and flying to parody to seek revenge. 4. Every Marlian citizen has experienced the effects of systemic racism. The anti-Eldian propaganda that has been circulating through Marlian history books for generations has imprinted racism into the minds of every single Marlian citizen. Gabby and Reiner are the perfect examples of how systemic racism can turn people against their own kind. While it may shock viewers to hear Gabby spout anti-Eldian rhetoric, it stems from the culture she's grown up in. 3. The citizens of Marley have lived under a false sense of security their entire lives. Both Marleyans and young Eldians were taught that the threat of the outside world was something that stayed outside of their borders. However, Eldians eventually learned that the sense of security they were led into was false, while Marleyan citizens were never forced to learn this lesson. The aghast faces that fell on the Marleyan citizens who listened to Willie Tiber's accurate retelling of Marley's history proved just how out of touch these citizens truly were. The attack that followed surely petrified the rest who still held on to their superiority complex after hearing Tiber's words. 2. The Marleyans are the villains, aggressors, traitors in the world of Aoti. Though fans will continue to debate over whether Aaron Yeager is the true antagonist of Attack on Titan. The facts support the idea that it is Marley that has served as the series' antagonist. Throughout the entire series, Aaron and his allies have sought after the freedom that was locked behind an army of Titans. Season 3 and Season 4 revealed that these Titans were actually puppets created by Marley to punish the Eldian people for a false history that Marley wrote. This history began because a Marleyan betrayed the Eldian Empire in the first place. The evidence supports the fact that the Marleyan people are the villains in the world of attack on Titan. 1. Their warmongering past influenced Aaron's villainous behavior. While many believe Aaron's attack on Marley was well out of pocket for a protagonist, others still vouch for the skinny kid who lost his mother in Shiganshina. Regardless of Aaron's intentions, Marley's warmongering history played a role in Aaron's behavior. While Omniside may be taking it a bit too far, Marley's actions no doubt influenced the version of Aaron Yeager that anime fans know today. <laughs>